All right, we're going to plug the Admiral radio record player in. And uh, it looks like it may have had some work done on it. But it definitely needs filter caps. We are working here on an Admiral model 6F11-N. This AM broadcast and 78 RPM turntable was a real treat that a fella gave me. The Bakelite cabinet um, that you saw in an earlier video is in pristine condition and it just needs polished and cleaned up. And uh, so what I'm going to do here as I started in the previous video is to uh, pull the chassis out and start looking at some of the caps uh, possibly replacing the power supply capacitors that were uh, um, uh, humming real badly and so that's where we start here is pulling this thing apart and getting the chassis out of uh, the unit and then replacing four power supply caps only to start with and then we'll see where that leads. Seven, I have those. Okay. Man, that thing weighs 50, 20 pounds just by itself. Original, all original paper caps. Okay, got the uh, filter caps put in and hot glued in here, and um, I haven't replaced any of the other caps. And the reason that I haven't is because I've got decent audio on. Um, the radio here. Let's uh, fire it up and uh, see if I can illustrate. I don't know what I'm going to get in the Faraday cage here, but we'll see. Let's see, uh, pull my exterior and turn off here. Okay, so we got good uh, AM reception considering we're in a Faraday cage. And 
as I keep saying, but it's true. So, um, and I do have audio on the record player. Let me switch to the record player circuit. And I'll take a screwdriver and we're going to touch the audio. So we got audio through the record player circuit. I don't know what we're going to find on the needle with the record player, but that's what we're going to do next. So we'll put this back together here since I got the, uh, the uh, power supply filter caps secured. And we'll put this paper back in, the parchment back in, and um, put the base back on and mount it back into the record player. So let's do that next. Okay. Let's set this in. Okay, the switch. Let me zoom in here. The record player is up here. And there's a reject and an on. Um, put the uh, antenna loop back here. My, uh, tone. All right, then there's the phono. And it'll be a miracle, I'm telling you, it'll be a miracle if this cartridge is any good. Oh, sounds like it is. Okay. Motor's running. I'm trying to figure out if this is automatic. We'll have to work on the mechanics. Um, let's get a record. All right, we got the record on here. This record's got a crack in it, so it's going to pop. But let's uh, turn the rec radio on. And there's a switch here that allows you to turn the turntable on and off. And it has a REJ, which is reject, or I think it's it allows the uh, record to, to spit out automatically. And this is a, uh, this should, there we go. Okay, so this is a 10 inch adjustment. Let's turn this off. This is a 10 inch record holder. And let's turn it on. Well, 
yeah here we go I've forgotten how these things work to be honest with you this is for a 33 inch record see and uh, this is for a 10 inch record Come on here. Well, see if it'll do it this way. It's all gummed up. There it goes. Try again. It's supposed to push this, supposed to push it like that and drop it into place, but it's all gummed up. So let's turn it off. We still have radio. But I can't stop believing. What oh, I know. oh, yeah. Turn the power off. Pull up this record. And uh, let's flip it upside down and see if we can grease some of the uh, guts. I'll pull this platter off. Check a few things here while we're here. This tire is a little bit worn, as is all of this. But it's running, right? So let's put a little bit of grease on. case open trying to be real careful not to scratch this assembly here There's a couple of ways we can do this and I'm going to do the brute force method and spray some um, Let's see if we can get that to loosen things up a little bit. Still not dropping to the record. There is something misadjusted here might be this switch it to record of course there's felt missing off of the platter which obviously it's not going to be that much felt missing a quarter of an inch but this is misadjusted here apparently Okay, 
Whoa. Okay, that's a little too low, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was going to... I forgot about angle. Um, we're working here on the fulcrum. I need nearly as much. That's going lower. I mean, still too low. Adjust the reject. I'm using the Novus cleaner and polishers here, number one, two, and three. Now this is just a cleaner, number one. There's no um, abrasive in there at all, so that's number one. So if that doesn't cut it, and what we use is the fine scratch remover. And you can see it's a paste instead of just a liquid polish. And we'll take that, rub it until we get, look at, see it's taken off a lot of cigarette smoke and Tar and nicotine or whatever. I really probably ought to be using Tarnex. I could use some Novus. Let's see what the Novus will do. Yeah. This ought to come off, it needs to come off the radio so that I'm not scratching the edges here. And it looks like it, the finish is just completely gone. So I might be able to paint that with gold. So we'll see if I can take this trim off and we'll clean it and repaint it, clean it or repaint it. And at the same time, I will uh, check and see if there's a missing bezel for the numeric bezel. You can see that the numbers are rubbed off. Um, 
you know, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's put a piece of paper behind it. Well, I don't know whether you can see it in the camera or not, um, but there are uh, numbers 160, 140, 120, 100, and so on and so forth. So, anyway, the numbers are gone. The uh, speaker grill cloth needs to be replaced, and I should be able to get some looks that's as close to the original. So I think I'll do that while I've got the whole thing apart. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this metal. Such a beautiful set. Just hate to uh, not do something for it. Okay, there's the cloth, speaker cloth. So that should be easy enough to replace. And this is kind of a gold leaf painted bezel. So I can take these screws out, pull the glass off real carefully. It's lined with rubber. But I can take that off. And then you can see what the original color was. So I should be able to find a bright gold finish paint, I think. And if I don't like it, I can soak it in acetone and take the paint off of it. But um, we'll see. Let's get rid of this glass before it gets broken. Huh. Beautiful. Okay, so you can see the original color. Definitely see the original here. So I think I'll, I don't know if I have any Tarnix, but we'll try that. It's a pretty heavy piece of metal. And the uh, tone, radio phono tuning, and volume uh, indicators, uh, labels are cast into this metal. Uh, I think it's pop metal. I think it's poured and cast pop metal. And then probably painted. Kind of looks like it might be. Let's see, let's do this. Let's do the scratch test. Yeah, it's painted. See, that's just pop metal. It's real soft. So, it's been painted. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint it. I'll, uh, I'll strip it really well. And it's actually in pretty rough condition. If you look at the casting marks here, you can see some of the casting marks. Um, pretty coarse. See here.
here we are. We've got the two Admirals, the Admiral TV and the Admiral uh, radio record player. Uh, finished cleaning it up, and uh, it turned out beautifully. Um, the, uh, the tone arm and everything is cleaned up, and all the Bakelite, the one-piece Bakelite, well, two-piece Bakelite, cabinet is in beautiful condition repainted the uh escutcheon the the trim and uh with a hammered gold paint and replaced the speaker grill uh, uh several new capacitors in the electronics and um we've got it tuned to my local radio station here Okay, and uh, let's let's put a record on. We got the changer working very well. I've got a piece of foam here just to protect the needle. But it's working very nicely. And if you remember, the unit dragged real badly. We didn't get this to work. I got this working now. And it doesn't drag the uh, um, mechanics down. And plays real well. So let's drop a couple records just so we can watch that automatic function work. And we'll call this one finished. And the uh, finish works. Just like it's supposed to. So, thank you again for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed this repair and restoration.